Hello and welcome to Le Legend of Grimrock. I'm Jesse D and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys this new Steam game I decided to download. I'm going to be playing this blind. There's uh, no music though as you can tell. I'll show you why. You really can't hear me over the sound so I decided to mute the thing even in regardless of how awesome the game would actually be with it. So it's a, da a basic dungeon explorer, not dungeon, dungeon crawler, similar to those of you who've played Eye of, Behold Eye of the Beholder for the SNES or whatever else it was for. It's like that, but, well, a bit upgraded in the graphics department. As you can see, there's dungeon, but you can only pick Grimrock for now. It's probably going to have more expansions later, and difficulty. I'd rather not go hard, so let's go ahead and create some characters. I'm mostly playing this blind. I played probably about five minutes just to give it a quick look. As you can see, you start with one of your prisoners. You can add four, three more to make four, and there's different races. So let's go ahead and give some stats here. Each, as you can tell, each uh, race obviously has different stats. Minotaur is big tough. So I might as well make him a tanky character. Tanky ish character, but he also only gets one skill point as opposed to the human who gets four. He also, but the human starts with lesser stats. And we got. Let's make him a lizard man and a rogue. Nice little Klingon look here. Uh. Make him an insectoid. They seem to have the highest willpower, so I'll make him a mage. Who have very low HP, of course, but whatever. Uh, what else? Got skill points in, stat points in. Got skills over here, as you can see. You can tell the mouse thing is blinking. Mouse cursor, it's not supposed to do that, but I couldn't figure out a way to stop it from working like that on Kimstasia, so that's what I'm stuck with. Let's uh, let's make him an armed combat expert. Make him a nice little monk there. Got a whole bunch of traits: aggressive, more attack power, cold blooded, resist cold elements, fire elements, resistance, fist fighter, good for unarmed. And skill gives you an extra three skill points, which you can then go ahead and put into these. I'll go ahead and make him a fist fighter, and probably someone who doesn't want to get hit. Evasive. See, he only starts with one skill point. So each skill requires a certain amount of skill points to get the abilities in the skill. For armors, two of them you get an extra armor. Natural armor. Axes, you require four points in it to get the strength plus one. So he probably wouldn't be good for uh, cross-classing. So I'll specialize in axes. Give him a trait: headhunter, minotaur class, race. Attack power for each skull carried. Really? Wow, that's interesting. Go ahead and throw that on there. And let's give him. Let's give him some health. No, no. Ah, uh, her. Health, health. Let's make him aggressive then. Make him a rogue. He gets three skill points. Let's see what traits. I'm gonna give him agile and skilled. Give him some points in missiles, and missile weapons, bows and bows and etc. And assassination. You get access to deadly and precise melee techniques. Then we've got the insectoid mage. What looks good? Probably some basic fire. Give him natural armor. Ooh, don't want my mage getting hit. And let's give him skilled too. It looks like he could really use some cross classing. Extra willpower point and I always liked air. Let's cross class into three different things. Three different skills. And that looks good.
Here's a little opening here. Mount Grimrock. A towering spire looms above the clouds, a weathered rock that has stood tall for ages, longer than histories of men have been written down. It is a desolate place now, only remembered when things need to be discarded or forgotten. And forgotten. An airship struggles to gain altitude as it floats towards the peak. Four prisoners, bound by heavy chains, emerge from the ship. The court accuses them of terrible treasonous treasonous deeds, but by the grace of the king, their crime shall be forgiven atop Mount Grimrock. There's supposed to be epic music in the background, but, well, it's, it's off right now. Their final trial is at hand. Numerous prisoners have received their pardons here, yet none have returned to live their life in freedom. They are at the very top of the world, and below them only darkness and justice awaits. So we poke them in a, with a stick. As they are plunged down the open maw at the peak, their crimes are absolved. Everyone before them has perished in the guts of the mountain, but will you be able to lead them through the dark into freedom? That wa that waits them at the <laughs> and to freedom that waits them at the base of Mount Grimrock. Only time will tell, and probably many many parts of the videos. Legend of Grimrock. Da Oh, oh. Ah. Got a nice, lovely little area. Little cell. Though, I just got shoved down a rather deep hole that you couldn't see the light of day from. I don't know how I'm alive. Simple as that. Oh, what's this? Choose your fate. Perish in the cell or pick up the torch. <laughs> Simple enough. Full of puzzles this game is. I watched Total, Total Biscuits play of this a little bit, so I know some of how this is played. There's puzzles and secret passages. And, ooh, clothing. Can't run around naked after all. All sorts of buttons. Simple, simple. A key. Steal all the torches along the way. Another rock. Hmm. A door with a keyhole. Let's see. Throw that in there. Simple, simple. What's this? Oh, keyhole. That. Huh. Uh, it's loose rock. Loose rock. There's a loose rock somewhere. Is that the hint, or is it this? Yoink! I sent down here naked, and all the other prisoners were sent down with clothes. Doesn't seem. Ooh, knife. Give him some pants too. Everybody gets pants. Let's give it to him. He can't reach, but you know, whatever. Uh, hmm. Have another torch. Throwing 
knife. Very nice. Wonder if I can pick it back up. I can. Hmm. That's not what I meant to do. I actually want to look at it. Let's see. Attack power, speed, shift left, left mouse, shift right. Oh, it doesn't look like there's any durability, so long as they don't lose it. are really weird because your normal AST movements are strafe left and strafe right. Uh, this is not going to end well for me. I regret everything! Yeah. And it's Q and E that allows you to turn. So yeah, it's a little strange. Definitely gotta get used to this. Wow, that that club does a lot more damage than this poor little monk here. Mmm, more stale food for me. Ooh. Got two of them that time. The only problem is I really don't want to miss anything. If there's like a little thing in the wall I could have touched. Ooh, more rocks. Uh, pit root bread. So it just makes me want to look at each wall, but then that would just be boring in the end. Hopefully there are some clues. There's a door here. I need a key. Ooh, sandals. Can't go wrong with these. Mmm, delicious. Let's give him some sort of weapon, too. A loincloth. That goes perfect for my minotaur. Vicious of everything. I run into the walls a lot. This is not that different from real life. To close the pit, something needs to fly. The rock, perhaps? Oh ho! I really want to just take that rock again, but it probably needs to hold it. Oof. I wonder what goes here. Oh, whoa. That looks... That's not a trap. Heal my sight. Must need to find, like, rocks or something. <laughs> 